That's right, welcome back. This is Democracy 3, we are the USSR, and we are continuing today in a time of financial instability. So, let's recap, uh, by the way, we're still on the last turn, let's recap exactly what is going on with the chart. The all-important chart that measures everything that matters in the game. Okay, first of all, expenditure. Expenditure has climbed fairly consistently since the start of the since the start of the game. That's for two reasons primarily. One, we are of course playing as a socialist nation, and socialist nations most of the time like to spend with a little bit less regard to the income. So we're looking to grow our economy through expenditure rather than cutting expenditure uh, and growing our economy more naturally, I guess, is probably the, the way of putting it. Anyway, uh, our income has gone down, but I believe this is kind of a little bit of a weird thing, right? Because this income is a measurement of last turn. So this is how much income we had last turn. But of course, last turn, our GDP was, I can't hover over, but like just behind these three modifiers, as you can see, our GDP was down in the gutter, our relative GDP, that is. Um, and that was just in, in, the, in the gutter completely. So next turn, we should see a similar sort of spike to what this GDP spike did here. So we should expect our income to increase. It probably won't be all that dramatic, but we will at least recover all of this stuff, right? We'll, we'll recover all of that. And also, 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 we're really, really hoping that now that the recession in the global economy has sort of bottomed out, there should just be continual upwards growth. So I'm really hoping that over maybe the next 10, 15 turns or so, we can successfully we can successfully increase our income to a point where it completely covers our expenditure. Okay, good. So we've covered income and expenditure, and now we can talk a little bit about interest. Now the interest rate, unfortunately, on the last turn actually increased a little bit, which puts our deficit at 19 billion. And it will also increase our debt interest payments. Yeah, so we used to be paying about 9 billion per turn, per quarter. But now, unfortunately, that's gone up to uh, that's gone up to about twelve point eight. So that is kind of a little bit worrying. But that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of sort of we've got a lot of stuff that we're doing right now, which will lead to uh, GDP increases later on. Like for example, uh, we put up military spending in the last turn, and and I do expect I do very much expect that unemployment will go down. I do expect unemployment to go down. Uh, there are a couple of negative modifiers at the moment, but I'm hoping, 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 hoping that we can clean it all up before, uh, before, before we, before we face re-election in 73 turns. There we go. All right, let's go to the next turn and immediately see what we've got coming up against us. Unemployment down further, massive, massive downward spike. This is exactly what I'm talking about. That will feed into, that will feed into GDP. Uh, GDP, GDP has stayed roughly level. Now, I was sort of hoping that we would maybe see a little bit of a jump up. What's the economic forecast? Yeah, so the economic, the global economy went down just slightly, which isn't exactly ideal. I would also like to draw attention to the fact that our income just managed just managed by about 2 billion rubles per quarter, just managed to break even. And that was in part due to the fact that we reduced our expenditure, we cut the national palace, and also we introduced, um, we introduced, we introduced that policy forced labor or whatever it's called, which, which just allows us, yeah, this is it, forced labor, yeah, which just nets us 30 billion, 30 billion per quarter. How incredible is that? That is absolutely bonkers. I'm convinced that this is going to be terrible long term. But for the short term, it's great. It's really, really great. So, that's great. Uh, also, it only costs four political, four political capital to cancel total exploitation. So, that's kind of nice, I guess. Uh, we need to look at the security assessment. We can actually see that there is nothing. Nothing that we really care about. We've still got to introduce the monitor large transactions, but we don't really have the political capital to do that. I think that now might be general media ship censorship. General media censorship, yeah. There's also domestic undercover agents, which we want to introduce. And we also want to get the outreach against extremism. That's, that's also something that we want to do. I think that's maybe something that we would introduce. Maybe. And uh, the encryption law as well, which is actually kind of a little bit popular homosexuality law that's very popular 
Nice. Not like we really care about. Not like we care about our popularity in the slightest, but it is always something to keep in mind. Okay, that's good. That's really, really good. I was not expecting... I was not expecting to have quite the surplus that we actually do have. Uh, that's really, really good. That is really, really good. So all we need to really do is focus on increasing our GDP any way possible. And hopefully, things will sort of work out. Can we raise productivity? If we could try and raise productivity, that would be pretty darn good. Health, we want to increase health. Health is just absolutely in the gutter. So if we were to raise, if we were to raise healthcare spending, that would cost an extra six billion or so. It would increase health, but only a little bit. I want to try and get rid of some of the negative modifiers. I want to try and get rid of some of the negative modifiers. Where is, where is the health? It's private healthcare. Health modifier, there we go. Yeah, I want to try and get rid of some of the negative modifiers. The doctor's strike is apparently not too great. But apparently, apparently it's due to the trade union's percentage. Well, I think that we need to try and... Yeah, so if we increase, if we increase... If we increase healthcare spending, it will have the knock-on effect of pretty much getting rid of the doctor's strike. Which would be worth it. For six billion, that'd be, that would be quite a substantial increase to health. And then, of course, health will get a lot better. And therefore, productivity will go up. And therefore, productivity will lead into, will lead into a, a GDP increase. Also, now that we've scaled back our national palace, it would be nice if we could get rid of this whole corruption modifier. But I don't think that that is going to happen anytime soon. So, yeah, there we go. Planned economy is feeding into it quite well, and also the manipulated court, which is which is not exactly ideal. But that modifier will decrease over time. The other thing that I was thinking about doing is maybe we could try and get something in place which would increase healthcare without actually spending any money on uh, the health service. So perhaps something like antibiotics ban. Yeah. Ensures consumer safety. That might be kind of nice to do. Free eye tests. Yeah, so something something maybe in here or something that would something that would just give us something that would just give us a nice little boost. Pioneer movement. Children's organization operated by the Communist Party. Oh, this is great. This is great. Healthy and active lifestyle and communist ideology. Hmm. This seems like something that I'm very interested in. All right, let's implement this now, because why not? It seems like a great thing to do. Decrease religious membership, increase socialism membership, decrease alcohol consumption slightly. I thought this was going to be a healthy, uh, a healthy lifestyle. What about health? There's no health. There's no health modifier here. I was misled. I was very, very misled. All right. Well, that's disappointing, but that's fine. We'll have to deal with that. Uh, we just pumped. We've, we just pumped a, a whole bunch of money into uh, into an organization, which is supposedly, or which seems to be from the outset, kind of like uh, kind of like a youth organization, which a big man in Europe originally started, uh, which I'm not going to mention the name of because otherwise that will lead to instant demonetization. Uh, but I'm sure that you can probably infer exactly who and what I'm referring to. Either way, we've started the, uh, the, the communist youth, I suppose. The pioneer movement. There we go. Anyway, let's go to the next turn. Custody over children. Joint custody or single custody? Well, conservatives, conservatives really, really like us. Well, let's try and please the liberals. Joint custody. Yeah. Oh, that was a gavel. Uh, that puts us at a slight deficit, but that's not a problem. I'm not worried about that too, too, too much. And also, you got to bear in mind that we are actually increasing the membership of socialists all the time that this is going on, which is really, really nice. Okay, this is really, really good. Unemployment, huge, huge fall in unemployment. Health, noticeable increase. GDP, respectable increase. A surveillance scandal. All right, that's annoying. The fact that technology has taken a little dip will lead to a little bit of a knock-on 
knock-on effect on productivity and that will lead to a knock-on effect of GDP, which means that the uncompetitive economy is going to last for a little bit longer. That's fine. Alcohol abuse has ended. That's great. That's going to save us a whole bunch of money. Homelessness has ended. That's also going to save us a bunch of money. Credit rating upgraded. Man, that is fantastic. Man, that is absolutely great. Capitalists like me don't really care about that. GDP increasing is really, really good. And the fact that this is happening pretty much at a time of recession is very, very good. Wow, holy cow. I was not expecting that we would have a surplus this turn. I was especially not expecting that we would have a 12 billion surplus. How did our expenditure go down? How did our expenditure go down? I mean, there was a 2 billion saving in debt interest. But that doesn't seem like that much. There's the efficiency with which government money is spent. So if I take a little look at my, at my cronies... You are pretty good. You are seemingly... I was going to say you are quite experienced, but you're not actually. You're not actually very effective. You're still on board with me, which is quite nice. You're a socialist, and you're uh, a trade unionist. Well, I was expecting... I was expecting you to be more experienced, since the government money is spent with such efficiency. As you can see here. And more importantly, here. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that it's the Chancellor which is in control of spending the government money, and therefore it matters how experienced they are. How is our socialist membership doing? It's increasing 87%. It's not too bad. With the ideological observation and the pioneer movement, we should see a rapid increase. We already have seen a rapid increase, actually. Anyway, that's great. That's really, really good. I'm super happy with that surplus, and we're now finally going to be able to pay down some of our debt. And importantly, the interest rate has gone back down to the previous level of B, uh, down from whatever it was, triple C, I think. So it was pretty darned, pretty darned bad. Yeah, wow. Holy cow. That's really, really good. And the fact that alcohol abuse finished up as well, I think that's like two billion, two, two or three billion that we basically got just because the, the, the whole alcohol abuse thing ended. Anyway, that is what it is. This is the time that we're going to, that we're going to finish the doctor's, the doctor's strike off. Let's bump uh, state health service spending. Gonna bump it by about seven billion, which will not completely wipe out our surplus, but it'll it'll reduce our surplus substantially. By the way, I would just like to take a quick little a quick little look at exactly who likes us and who doesn't like us. Socialists absolutely love us. Exactly what we are aiming for. This is exactly what we want to see happen. Uh, commuters don't really like us. Don't really care about that. Capitalists actively dislike us. That is exactly what we're uh, what we're hoping for. Retired people like us. That's it's fine. Uh, patriots really, really like us. That's really, really good. Conservatives are pretty, pretty happy with us. And poor people absolutely adore us, which is just, they, they couldn't be any happier. Extremely supportive of the government. Extremely supportive of the government. Complacency. All right, well, that's, that's an interesting modifier there. Uh, is there any other policies that we can introduce, perhaps, that would, that would make any difference to us on the whole work safety law? I think this would be a really, really good policy to introduce and maybe upset the capitalists. Yeah, social justice foundation. That's also something that we might that we might uh, might want to introduce. Law and order. State religion. Hmm. 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 This is going to cost zero to implement. Let's implement this and let's see what we can actually do. So the modifier, the modifier, the uh, the thingy, the, the slider. The slider starts at the very center. And we can... We can do pretty much whatever we want here. Religious membership down. Ethnic minority membership up. All faiths banned? I mean, I feel that we need to do all faiths banned. I mean, yeah, let's ban all faiths. That seems like a very, very Soviet thing to do. And at the end of the day, you know, we got a role play here. We got a role play. Uh, religious people already intensely dislike me. But their membership is now going to start to decrease. Oh, ignore that. Uh, their membership is going to start to decrease even more rapidly. Uh, than it did before. And that leaves us still with four political capital, which is really, really nice. Anyway, work safety law. Something to upset the capitalists and make trade unionists happy. Trade union membership. That's good. Productivity down a little bit. Eh, it's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, but the trade-off is a little, a little tiny. 
tiny, tiny, tiny little increase in health, which I will happily pay for, as health is our major focus right now. We're majorly focusing. Capitalist plot. That's a bit of a bummer. I was uh, not very happy with this. That's, that's not very good. GDP. GDP went down a little bit. We might... We might have a deficit here. No? What? How? 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 How is this happening? This is very, very strange indeed. The Doctor Strike still hasn't ended. It will end next turn, which will improve health dramatically. The asthma epidemic... I mean... The only way to really get rid of this... This is one of the most annoying modifiers, like, in the world. I say in the world. It's not really in the world. In the video game, perhaps. Corruption still rumbles on. Not much that we can really do about that. Education is a massive... A massive modifier against corruption. So maybe if we fund... Stuff more... Then that will... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, our next, our next, our next objective is going to be to try and increase, uh, try and increase education. Also, this traffic congestion modifier. This is just a an, an annoying little stickler, and it's pretty much caused entirely by civil rights protests, which is pretty much caused by the fact that liberals are really, really unhappy. How is a hundred percent of the population liberal and socialist? Forgive me for being an idiot. Education? How does education... I guess education sort of increases membership in the li in the liberal group. Uh, ghettos is going down. That's kind of nice. Will this feed into any way into the civil rights protests? I don't think it does. It's a little bit of an annoyance. Tasers supposedly reduce civil rights protests. I think we need to try and introduce something which will, you know, really keep the capitalists in check. Because we've got to be careful. We've got to be careful about the Badenberg group, you know? We need to monitor large transactions as soon as we possibly can. Yeah. Law and order. Domestic undercover agents. I think we probably just want to hold off until next turn. How much how much political capital is it that we need in order to get the whole riot police? Ooh. Kind of nice. Monitor large transactions. 28 political capital. Going to get 60 next turn. So theoretically, if we hold out, we'll manage just to be fine. That is, of course, if we don't, uh, if we don't die, which I really don't, don't want to do. Strike down protesters. Uh... Now, usually, and in this specific instance, if I was a true Soviet state, I would say fire at will. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Because I want liberals to like me just that little bit more. Supposedly that's done pretty much nothing. All right, we're going to hold on to 16 political capital and go to the next turn. Hope, 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 hope that we don't get assassinated. There was a failed assassination attempt. Look, that's fine. Okay, failed assassination attempt from the Battenberg group. Fine, contagious disease has ended. Doctor strike has ended. A teacher shortage has emerged. All right, that's a little bit of an annoyance. Immigration, immigration is pretty darn low. All right. Well, what is this doing? It's reducing education and it's reducing parents. You know what? This is a that, that's that's a negative thing that I can deal with actually. Yeah, education down by just a little bit. That's fine. Okay, health on in the meantime has skyrocketed thanks to the doctor strike finally ending, and hopefully, 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 it's not gonna reemerge anytime soon. That will of course have a little knock-on effect with GDP. Productivity will be presumably way up. That's not what I was looking for. I can't click on that here. Yeah, productivity is way up. That's really, really good. And contagious disease is finished as well. Egalitarian society has developed. This makes everyone like us a lot more. That's very, very good. I'm pretty happy with that. The economic forecast. Let's have a little look at this. 
okay, that's good. The GDP is GDP is going up pretty darn rapidly. Uh, we still have a mountain, an absolute mountain of debt. And we are running a slight surplus, but we shall not get complacent. We shall not get complacent. We especially should not stop implementing policies that would protect our bacon. Monitor large transactions. Yes, please. Let's get this implemented right away. Okay, perfect. Liberals aren't going to like it. GDP is going to go, is going to take a little bit of a hit. But, you know, that's something that I think we just got to deal with. That puts our security effectiveness at adequate. Now, I'm still kind of worried that we might... That we might... Okay, let me implement a witness protection program. Yeah, let's also implement that. I thought liberals would like that, but for some reason they just don't. Crusaders of the Lord, religious people really don't like it. That's a bit of an annoyance. Hmm. I want to boost I want to boost the National Palace because supposedly that contributes to uh just reducing reducing the security risk. Membership of the of the, the groups is going down. However, the chances of getting assassinated is going up. And we've already had one failed assassination attempt. I'm not I don't want to chance another one. Also, it's it's almost time that we need to get rid of these guys. I think that, honestly, next time we just need to just completely gut them. Not, of course, in reality, although that would not be too unlike the actual uh, Soviet uh, experience. But let's go to the next turn and hope beyond hope that we don't get assassinated. There's a capitalist plot, that's fine. Foreign Affairs Minister resigns, that's fine. We need to get rid of all of this nonsense anyway. Media backlash, everyone dislikes us, that's fine. GDP, wowzers. That's really, really good. Gridlock has ended. I, okay. That's, that's, that's good. That's really, really good. Man, I, I don't know what the negative modifier was for that, but massive, massive surplus uh, coming in this turn. That's really, really good. Man, that is fantastic. Patriots are disliking us, but motorists are consequently going to be liking us just that little bit more. Okay, Battenberg Group continuing to threaten me. Maybe reshuffling the cabinet at the moment isn't the best idea. Outreach against extremism. This seems like a pretty darn good time to introduce this policy. I don't know if that's going to have any negative impact on the whole... Battenberg group trying to assassinate me or whatever. Security effectiveness is good. But just that one word doesn't guarantee that I will be successful in surviving. Ghettos is about to end. That's great. I mean, just a couple more turns. I really feel that we, like we could get over the line. Organized crime. Organized crime is still annoyingly around. Gambling... Gambling we could just, like, eliminate entirely. That might not be the craziest thing in the world to do. The fact that we've got a teacher shortage is kind of, eh. I sort of talked about it a little bit earlier. Still don't really rate it as that much of an important thing. Um, sexism has actually gone down. Um, unbelievably, even though we live in an eg egalitarian society where everyone is equal, we still have sexism. Uh, now that, to me, seems a little bit silly. I feel that that modifier should probably feed into sexism somehow because this sexism modifier seems to be i mean it seemed to be caused by almost nothing really and also if i have a little look at the negative modifiers here that negative modifier is minus 12 percent and that's only plus four percent therefore we should be st we should still be sinking right but that's not the case and it's making it's making liberals not like us whatever it's it, this this whole thing seems like a little bit of a a little bit of a simplistic modifier, what I think should be, for what should be a, a more complex, a more complex problem. Pollution is still rumbling on, but again, there's really not much that we can do about that. On the whole, I'm pretty darn happy with, with everything, really. Uh, the only trouble is, is that we are still very much at risk of being assassinated here, and it seems that only the extremists in the Battenberg group and the Crusaders of the Lord are really interested in taking us out. However, membership for the regular non-violent groups actually kind of low so there you go anyway ladies and gents thank you very very much for watching my name is Vinoba Potato this has been Democracy 3 playing of course as the Soviet Union 
I'll see you next time. Bye.